Hello, my name is Robert Mitchell, and today we're here at Embedded World 2024 in Nuremberg. And today we are at the Infineon stand, and I'm joined by Christoph. Thank you for having us today. Nice to meet you. Fantastic. Now, before we jump into all this exciting stuff, I've got one question for you. Could you say to the audience who you are, what you do, and what it is that you do at Infineon? Yeah, hey, my name is Christoph Seitz, and I'm a field application engineer for automotive microcontrollers. And today we are here at our AI-based siren detection demo to showcase the power of Infineon microcontrollers and AI models. Fantastic. Now, before we start this video, you told me to push this button. Can I push it now? You can. Right, are you ready for this? Or is that the right button? Yes. So what is going now? You hear a, a siren sound oh, yeah, on the loudspeaker, and it is detected by the microphone sent to the microcontroller. And now the AI model is able to detect the siren. And then, if the siren is detected, the light is flashing. So, so press if you one press one it time. again, yeah, and it comes up afterwards in a few seconds. There you go. That's good. Okay. There you go. And so I take what's going on here is that. Um, uh, when it comes to traffic in general, uh, uh, let's just talk about emergency vehicle siren. Yeah. So could you explain exactly what, what, how that would help and what that's doing? So uh, this demo is uh, basically for two use cases. If you have a fully autonomous car without a driver, it still needs to react on uh, emergency vehicles responding to some yeah. emergency. Or if you have uh, like a noise cancellation inside your car, which reduces outside noises, you ah. still need to be able to uh, detect the siren and inform the driver that there is an uh, emergency happening outside. And that's something I've actually seen other businesses uh, creating like noise cancelling systems in cars. And that's the one concern I've always got, which is that if you're in a car where, where it's completely like uh, uh, noise cancelled, you can't hear emergency vehicles coming from behind. And so, and so what you're saying is that by putting microphones outside and having an AI to interpret that, yeah. You could still react. Yes, you get a, with yeah. this you get a fully functional, safe siren detection that could be used in such use cases to inform the driver or to inform a car computer to do some actions based on the siren detected. And I think it's also interesting you mentioned autonomous cars as well, because like you say, how does an autonomous car know there's a, a version exactly. exactly. There's, there's no big to ever exactly. system, so how does it know what's behind it? And that's where this system comes yeah. in. Now you've got a second button here. What does that do? The volume. <laughs> the volume. <laughs> so that's the volume. So what else can you tell us about this set of workers? I see some boards inside here. Is yeah. this a dev kit that you guys provide? So yes. So this complete demo you can see here, you can buy from us. This is a demo board for our automotive microcontrollers. We have an A to B or A to B connection between the two. So we have an A to B slave board on top. In the middle of the sandwich, you see a TC375 light kit. And so that's this the, is that's our, the green board. Itself. That's the green board, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. exactly. This is our main dev kit. A lot yeah. of customers start. And on the bottom side, you see another uh, microphone board, which is, can be used for also directional detection of the siren sound because ah. it has not only one, but four microphones. Because the number of times as a driver I've been in my car, I hear a siren, I'm like, I'm going, Exactly. Where is it coming from? Exactly. So this thing tells you it's coming from behind yeah, you. Yes, exactly. Um, so this unit at the front here, uh, is it the, uh, the, the, the sorry, is it the, the development board that's doing the AI? Yes. And so what is it? This is just a microphone. This is just a microphone capturing yeah. the audio. Yeah. Just the audio is transferred to the microcontroller via the board on top, and the a complete AI is running on the microcontroller. So the solution here is also. We have a software in-house, which is called ImagineMob Studio, where you can do the complete development of the AI model, get your samples, classify them, create your model, train it, and then it will also create the C code for you, which you can compile onto the microcontroller, and you have everything from there. So, so this is AI inference on an embedded microcontroller. So it, it's a, you don't train on the micro, but you do the complete model on the micro, yes. What kind of energy consumption are we looking at? Something like that. A few watts, maybe one watt. So it's really low. It's uh, it's a normal low power microcontroller. So it's not. It's a. But you have to see. It's a very. It's, it's a model is a particular model. Yeah, the model is narrow. exactly yeah. designed for this use case, and yeah. so it's very small. So it 
consumes roughly 25% of the computing time of one core, yeah. and the microcontroller has three cores, so there's plenty of room for other applications. So it's not a high, it's not hardware acceleration. It's, no, it's not all, it's like, all, all at one core. This has no. Oh. This has a. Of course, it has some hardware acceleration, like a float point unit and some other stuff. But there's no dedicated uh, neural network accelerator in this series. Now, uh, this might be a bit of an ignorant question. Uh, is this specific? Does this hardware, or sorry, this software, only work on Infinity Pro, or is it any microcontroller? No, you 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 can get the software for any microcontroller, but you get optimized software for Infinity microcontrollers. That's actually really interesting because that means that it allows people to to essentially be hardware agnostic when yeah. it comes to running their AI. It is hardware agnostic, but of course you can always tune and make it better, faster, <laughs> less energy consumption. And so, if you use the software together with Infineon microcontroller, you get the yeah. uh, the complete experience. Absolutely fantastic. So, what other applications could you see this being used in? Yeah, it's, uh, it's already used by some customers for siren detection in cars, so that the car has out outward facing microphones, and this is used for siren detection to warn the driver that the uh, emergency vehicle is approaching. Fantastic. Now, but it's, uh, AI is not only limited to siren detection. You can use any other detection as well. You can yeah. use it for image processing. You can use it for other behavioral processing, even for control. So this is just one example for a real world use case, but uh, it's basically limitless. Yeah, brilliant. So I've just got one more question for you before we wrap this video up. For the viewers out there who are watching this video, if they want to get involved with Infineon products, what would you, what would you recommend? Yeah, I would recommend go to the Infineon website, infineon.com. Yep. You'll find all the information there. And if you want to have also dedicated access and support, sign up for my Infineon. We have a big community there and some additional documents. And you can order the kits, the software, and you can start right away. Fantastic. Well, thank you ever so much for taking the time to see us today. Have a great day. Thank, thank you. you.